Hey, Google admins, this is Goldie again. Welcome back to the Google Frontline Worker SKU video series. In this video, I'll talk to you about how you can leverage Google Apps Script to bulk assign front frontline worker licenses to your users. For that, let me share my screen and let's do this. Okay, so I have this organizational unit called CI only. I have two users inside, you might have 100. Uh, and I, if I scroll down, you will see that this user does not have any license assigned. It just does cloud identity free user. Uh, same case for the second one. Uh, no Google Workspace license assigned yet. And my objective is to bulk assign frontline worker SKU to these two users. In your case, there might be 100, 200. Doesn't matter, same thing. Okay, so we'll leverage Google Apps Script. You do not need to write the script. I'll put that in the uh, blog post itself, so you can just simply copy and paste. Uh, so for that, you will go to sheets.new to create a new sheet where we will be putting our users list and saying these users should be assigned Frontline Worker SKU. It's a good idea to name our sheet something uh, descriptive. So let's say Frontline Worker License Assignment. Okay. And then you will go to extensions, click on app script. And again, we'll just uh, give name to our effort. You can maybe make it more descriptive, delete everything that you have, the default function, and then paste the script that you will find on our blog post. This is how the script would look. And make sure that this is reading this sheet. So you copy that name Okay, assign frontline licenses, come back here, rename the sheet and give it this name. If you, whatever name you put here, sheet one or whatever, make sure that it should match the sheet by name uh, string, okay. So essentially this is uh, the Google frontline worker SKU ID and product ID. You can search on Google for uh, Google licensing API and you know you can put any license details here and that will work same as frontline however in this specific video we are focusing on frontline so let's take that as an example now script will first call this sheet by this name and read the values for example let's say the values here should be uh, user primary email okay We'll just mention this and then email is OK, sir, and OK, sir, too. Okay, so similarly, you will just keep putting your email addresses here. Okay, so if you have 100 or 200, just put them here and then. <clears throat> Uh, script will write the result here whether it was successful in assigning the frontline worker license or not and then I'll go back here you will see that we are just uh, reading the values and then I'm calling API uh, license assignments okay one more thing under services when you click on that you need to enable uh, license API okay at enterprise license API click on add otherwise it will not work okay so make sure that you see it here and then it script will call uh, the API read the values from the script and assign the license if it gets assigned perfect you will get the status license assign assignments status successfully uh, as this one if not it will give you that error that shouldn't happen if you are following this uh, video well and then finally it will write back the response to our Google sheet telling us what exactly happened okay so I'll go ahead and click on run and then because it is it is my first time running the script wow attempted to execute my function but it was deleted okay why okay let me just do a quick refresh maybe oh no it worked okay it's working because if this is the first time, I really should ask me for uh, authorization to run this. Good boy. Click on review permissions and then select the uh, admin account that you're using. Click on allow, give it permissions to run and 
It does not have any connection with me, by the way. When you copy the script and run it just in your environment, it's it's running locally, so you're not sharing any data or something with me. It says execu execution started. If I come back here, uh, the second column gets updated saying license assigned successfully, okay? So when I go back to these two users in sort of cloud identity, this time I should ideally be seeing the uh, frontline worker license assigned. So if I scroll down a bit, Click here, not assigned yet, maybe do refresh, and I got it assigned. Perfect. Now let's look at the second one, uh, CI only, uh, okay, so two, and I have this assigned. Okay, so I hope it was helpful for you to just leverage the app script, uh, copy paste, put your users in a spreadsheet column and then run the script to assign all these licenses in bulk. In the next video, I'll show you how you can update existing users license from, let's say, Google Workspace Starter or Standard or something to Frontline. Okay, so for that, stay tuned. In, in case if you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much.